Hey everyone, Shadow Rockets here, and on today's episode, we are going over the Halo 5 rocket launcher. And surprisingly, it is very different. Well, not very different, but it is different nonetheless from the Spunker rocket launcher. So let's get right into it. And the very first difference we're going to see is the fact that the speed of the rocket of this new rocket launcher is faster than that of the Spunker with a 1 second 15 step shot and a 9.933 second scoped 15 step shot. It is much faster than the 1.45 second or 1.25 second Spunker launcher. Now I'm going to show you the uh, again the area of effect and I would like to point out that the aim down sight time is 0.25 seconds and the rate of fire is 0.9167. The aim down sights time is slower than the Spunker, but the rate of fire is faster than the Spunker by almost an entire third of a second, which is incredible. However, the range of the blast radius of this new rocket launcher seems to be identical to that of the original rocket launcher. So I'm wondering if it's the same projectile in the game code and for some reason it's coming out faster, or maybe this launcher is longer and the game doesn't think that the rockets need to travel as far however the lock on time is also a little bit faster with this rocket launcher being 1.5 seconds rather than 1.65 on the spunker now i did want to show you that i've kind of gotten the hang of shooting through these little walls again the the rockets just seem to go straight through these walls i do have a bit of an issue on the last wall but that you know, I get it right on the second shot, so that's not all that bad. However, it is the same with regards to the wall penetration factor of the Spunker, and we're going to see that right here, where Tidius Bowl takes absolutely no damage behind even the thinnest walls. So, that's not entirely the most surprising thing in the world, considering it is a very similar rocket launcher. And with the vehicle damage, it seems to be the same with this rocket one shot to kill the mongoose, two shots to kill the warthog, five shots to kill the tank, again just incredible armor on the tank, we again did not test any of the weak spots on the vehicles, that'll be done in the vehicle episode, not necessarily the weapon episode, Teddy's Bull wanting to get a little bit of payback there for me killing him all of these times, however we're right back to killing Daddy's Bull. Now, two shots to kill the Mantis, one shot to kill the Ghost, and it will be, again, four shots to kill the Wraith, the same as the Spunker. So, I, I can't seem to find much difference in the two launchers, I just, I don't know, it, it seems to be just that the bullets travel faster, which is a pretty lethal thing, I don't know why they would factor that in, the Phaeton is still three to four shots to kill, and the Banshee is still only two shots to kill you're gonna see a little bit of footage at the very end of a four shot kill on the phaeton which is just ridiculous i guess it has to do with something uh with the maybe thrusting of the phaeton causing reduced damage i don't know that'll have to be tested in the phaeton video which will be one of the last unfortunately you'll see that the banshee acrobatics still confuses the rockets and still confuses the aim assist or the auto locking feature of the rocket launcher however the phaeton still fails to break the lock on with its thrust which it has that extra shot so i guess that kind of helps and it's got lots of weaponry and utility to it wish i could use a phaeton in warzone but i've seen only a handful of them so anyway friends if you like this video if you learned something don't forget to like favorite comment and subscribe and I hope you're as surprised as I am that there actually were some differences between this rocket launcher and the Spunker rocket launcher. Next time on Halo Testbed, we'll be testing out the Hydra launcher. And no, not Hail Hydra. Just the launcher. Shadow Rockets out.